Wonder World is this little guy? Oh, so they're act they actually chew on this stuff. That's an awesome little- <gasps> The freaking tree falls over. You're kidding me right now. That is intense. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now, wait, this little guy, he's back in. You're kidding me. They actually, look at the, like the water is not coming down as fast now. He literally just took two of those little sticks and moved them over to start damming up that little waterfall. Look how, like, look how it's not coming out as fast now. Hands down, favorite enrichment item to date. No, nah, no, you don't come back from this. <laughs> you, don't, you don't come back from this awesomeness. Hey, my little punkies, I'm S. Dan Wolfius, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming back by and hanging out with me. I know it's probably early, early if you're getting this notification, probably around 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when my little nerdy embargo uh, lifts. So yeah, top of the morning to you, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, get in here and get a little bit of a look at this before you can actually jump in and grab the pack for yourself here in probably just a little over an hour. And uh, yeah, I didn't do like a whole, whole lot because I kind of wanted to save some of this for us to get back into some live streaming. Maybe even later on this evening when I get home from work, maybe jump back in and I want to do us like a, a revamp of Pine Creek. Now that we've kind of practiced so much and we've just, we've, we've accumulated so many blueprints over the year um, because remember, Pine Creek's pretty old, like this was an old, old project, uh, and, uh, I just think we're just so much more rehearsed now with the pieces, and we know how to make, we know how to make things look so much better now, but, um, obviously I wanted to jump in and start right off with the, uh, with the beavers. I don't even know if this will be their permanent habitat, because, honestly, I built this habitat for them. And then I found another spot for the Beaver Brothers restaurant that you saw in the cinematics. And it's kind of a, across the creek from where these guys are at right now. So I was thinking, does it make much sense or will Simply Savannah make too much fun of me, her and Drew, if I, uh, if I don't build the actual beaver enclosure beside Beaver Brothers restaurant. So this may end up being temporary as well. But um, I want to get in and add the moose. I want to add the meerkats over to the African area. They're like, when I was just kind of coming back into this map and kind of preparing this video and thinking about the prairie dogs and the cougar and, you know, just all of this stuff, I'm like, man, uh, Pine Creek is kind of lacking. Like, we can really get back in here and uh, I think do a better job. We can kind of uh, construction wall just a lot of this off and uh, come back in and just kind of give it, you know, not not totally just dismantle everything we've done, you know, by, by no means. But I just think we can put a little better twist on it now that we've gained a little more talent from over a year ago. And like I said, we just kind of... Uh, we just have a, I, I have a better foliage process. I have a better, 
um, you know, kind of uh, wood support process, just all rock work, everything. And then also too, look at all the new packs and the tools that we have at our uh, disposal now that we did not have when Pine Creek was first started uh, many, many, many months ago. So that kind of excites me. I think that that's, I think that should be fun. We get in here and really let you guys um, kind of delve, especially some of the new people that weren't around for the, uh, you know, the beginning of Pine Creek, jump in, do us a revamp. I'm talking the African area. Um, probably one of the things I want to do is I, I kind of want to get rid of the tiger area and totally redo it. It looks a way, way too cartoony. Um, so definitely going to revamp that. But there are a lot of things um, that I kind of want to get in and mess with. And uh, I think this, you know, this North American pack is really um, kind of lending itself to a lot of like a, a lot of imagination kind of that I haven't had over the last couple of weeks. But of course, too, um, you know, my wife, Casey, she's eight, like eight and a half months pregnant. So kind of had some other things going on uh, <laughs> in real life. So um, once, you know, kind of we get a little more settled with that and once Emma's here, um, you know, hopefully we can kind of jump back in and get you guys, uh, get you guys some more entertainment and some more content flowing. But uh, kind of like for right now, you'll have to bear with me while we're kind of waiting this out and kind of waiting Emma's arrival and kind of see what uh, what happens when my when my official newest my little wolf pup gets here so that will be fun those are some of the new barriers that I just put down we'll show you guys that uh, we'll jump over into the real time here in a minute and I'll kind of talk to you about some of my plans and show you the beavers up close and uh, they're like I was saying in the beginning they're um, <laughs> they're their enrichment item like Frontier has not done an enrichment item like that before it is so awesome to see them kind of gnaw on that little branch and then it actually falls over then they start taking the little sticks and damming it up so that was definitely um the highlight of my pack jumping in and seeing that um and uh and also too, gotta give a big shout out to uh to uh Dalia for jumping in and uh giving me a little bit early access to to get some of this built and some of this worked on. So really, really big shout out to her and her team. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm putting in the Beavers Brothers restaurant and you'll notice it's nowhere near the Beavers, but it just fits in this spot so freaking perfectly. I knew I had to leave it there. Like I knew, like leading into the, uh, the Ricey Cove Reptile Center, kind of going down towards the reptile house. I'm like, that's it. This can't move. The Beavers have to move before this can move. Uh, because this, this little spot's perfect. So yeah, here we go, guys. Back in Pine Creek. And you can see over here, peeling off to your right, we've got the little American Beaver exhibit. <laughs> and remember, like I said, this was implied from over a year ago. I had always envisioned the little beavers being here. And they are freaking adorable. They're just as adorable as you thought they were in the trailer. Yes, absolutely. And the way that they interact with this, this is just killer. And like I said, the water, the more that they kind of take these little sticks and put them up against this, uh, kind of against the little waterfall, the less the water comes down. So just really, really awesome on that. Those, here's the little barriers. As a matter of fact, if we go into, I will show you what the barriers look like. Um, they're in facilities. Where are my new little barriers? Here we go. So you've got your small little curb. And then of course the medium sized one and then the large one. And they also have guest metal barrier that is recolorable. So don't freak out. You don't have to keep it that red and white. So there's the metal barrier. And then just like in Planko, you've got your ribbon barriers. And these will not let guests pass. And then they actually even have some little, uh, see the little signs? Stop. So I thought that was really, really cool. And then of course, if you go into the, uh, the construction side of things, uh, obviously this is an animal pack. So they just have a couple little signs I'll show you. This is what comes with the North America pack. So you have your little gator sign. It, cheeky little gator. You get your bullfrog, really cute. Arctic fox. 
<laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> California sea lion. The cougar. Oh, <laughs> cougar. The moose. <laughs> That's so goofy. I love it. Then the beaver. And then, of course, we'll get a new stone statue as well for your sea lion. I don't know why I had to make sound effects for these, but I thought it was appropriate. So, yeah. And I'm not I'm not seeing any new foliage. I mean, I could be overlooking it, but even um, kind of uh, breaking it down by the uh, by the North by the North American tab. I I have not noticed any new foliage, which is kind of a, a little bit of a bummer. That would have been cool to just kind of get some new trees and, you know, other than other than these little white birch branches that I was kind of looking at, but they're just so tiny. They're like, kind of like matching for the, uh, kind of like the beaver exhibit, you know. Probably help you get those put in if you really want to stack up like a, a beaver dam. And they go really, really tiny as well. Scrolling through fast, th I think that was the only thing I noticed. Just doing a quick double check for you guys, but I don't, I don't think there are any new surprises other than those branches. Yeah. Well, if you guys find if you guys find anything new, just give me a shout and. I'll jump in and take a look at them, but yeah, we'll be live streaming and stuff too, so you guys will have all day to kind of play with this pack while I'm at stinking work. But yeah, so anyways, guys, I will go ahead and jump on out of here. Let me show you, look how awesome Beaver Brothers Restaurant came out over here. Is that not killer? Like it was just like this was like it was always meant to go there. So yes, Pine Creek has gained a restaurant. And I was even thinking over here, I cleared out the lemurs and this and we'll wait for this on uh, on one of the live streams as well. But remember uh, Tamu Tamu? Check this out. I was already thinking the Tamu Tamu could go right here and we could like almost start revamping uh, Pine Creek's African area. Just remember the African area, you come under the, come under the little bridge. Remember, here was my little implied meerkat exhibit that we actually even took over and used in Suyana for a while. So see, we can bring in real meerkats now, which we did not have. Tamu Tamu right here, kind of like greeting you in the open area. We've got the gorillas, or excuse me, the chimpanzees. We didn't put gorillas. So see, there's a lot of things I think we can redo through here. I definitely want to leave the elephant bridge because I love that. But the kind of like the, the giraffes and stuff and the lion area, I think I'm going to redo that. So we may kind of cap we may end up tearing all this out during the live streams and kind of redoing that back little area. Cause I just, I feel we could do a better job. I mean, we may even mess with the elephant areas a little bit, but for the most part, I'm talking that back there. We could even expand the education departments. We got Beyond Drew, uh, School of Environmental Science over here and a couple of the smaller buildings. Uh, Nutrihirsch Contra uh, Conservation Department. So we might expand on that. And like I said, I am uh, just, I just want to redo the tiger area back here. Not really, not really feeling that anymore. Or the, uh, or the little indoor area. Get rid of this little bit of weirdness I had going on. So there's a lot we can do. I, I really, I don't necessarily like the Asian area now as much as I did when I first built this, but I do like the panda exhibit. So 
I don't know, you know, I don't know, guys. We, may, I may end up just kind of retro destroying this and doing like moose and cougars and the prairie dogs. We might just bust all that out um, because there, there's some like there's. I really want to get some stick with the more North American vibes um, as far as Pine Creek goes, and I think now with the animals that we have. Um, we can kind of make that happen a little better. We've still got the, still got the, uh, the grizzly bear sisters down here. They'll stay. Jenna and Maggie. And then, of course, the wolf pack over here. That'll stay. Uh, may get rid of the bear exhibit and, or not get rid of it, but redo it a little bit. Um kind of figured out some better things for that um, we can actually probably get rid of this and do an actual river otter exhibit because remember I didn't have river otters when we did this zoo those things didn't come for a while while so yeah who knows what we'll get into but I just think that is some I think that could be some really really fun uh, live stream material to kind of jump back in with you guys and uh, just kind of get some work done, uh, especially before Emmy gets here. So I don't know. We'll just kind of see how it goes. I hope you guys come and hang out with me and I hope you go pick up the North American pack because I think this is a uh, pretty stellar... Why do we have a wild doll sheep? <laughs> in the... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> why? Why are you out here? Where did you come from? I don't even remember putting them in this zoo. He's going to make an escape. Sorry, buddy. But yeah, anyways, guys, don't forget to smash the like button if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe to keep up with more Planet Zoo mischief. I hope you guys like this all over the place, kind of me showing you the beginnings of the North America pack and what we're going to make happen with the... Uh, with Pine Creek, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to put some really detailed videos out on all the animals, so definitely go check all my buddies out, uh, Drew, uh, Savannah, um, all those nerds, um, and yep, yeah, let us know what you think, let me know in the comments down below, so I will catch you guys in the next video, thank you, see you.